Hello, Freddy's and Fabio. Good evening. How's it going, guys? Fine. <laughs> I'm a bit blind today. Blind? Why? I went to an eye exam test, or uh -huh. and they put some uh, gotas, some drops, some eye drops, uh -huh. eye drops, and they. Uh, they me hicieron me hidrataron el ojo uh, they well in this case if you want to say hidratar is hydrate so you can say no. they dilatar ah. o sea, la, la chibolita se hizo grandota oh. no. the iris the iris right the iris I think it's dilatated but let me check dilatated I think it's like that. Yeah. Well, delayed. 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 So, so uh, they delayed be, my be eye. Delayed. Uh huh. Delayed. They delayed my eye. That's the okay. And it's a still, I still see a bit blurry. <laughs> blurry. Ah, uh, a little blurry. Blurry. A little blurry. Okay. Yeah. But I'm fine. It, well, in British, English, in British English is delayed, but delayed. you can also you can also say dilate. Dilate. Uh huh. That's in British or dilate. in in American in... English it's more common to hear uh, dilate. 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 Okay. And you write it like that. D la well D I L A T E. D I L, L A T E A T E delight. I see. Dilate. Okay. Dilate. Uh -huh. Dilate. Dilate. Hello, nice picture, Freddy. <laughs> Very Salvadorian. <laughs> yeah, I saw the CPT on. Let me see. On yesterday. Really. Yeah, it was right here in Acajutla. He was selling something. If you buy one, you should take pictures with him. Okay, okay. That's a good pro propaganda, right? A good idea for business. Okay, so today it's Monday, so... I'm afraid that the majority of your classmates have They're had to deal with traffic and they might come a little bit late. Yeah, I have a feeling. Is it raining there? Because over here it's nice. It's raining nice. cats and dogs. It's been raining since 7.30, I think. It's not I Around here, it's still not, but it it it, it appears that soon will rain. Okay, so it seems like it will rain soon. And uh, do you watch the match yesterday? <laughs> watch beat, and it was ah, uh, it was a good <laughs> good match. Sadly, <laughs> we didn't we didn't make any goal <laughs> yeah i thought they were going to score at least one but did, did... hello in your opinion what do you think is it a good idea or a bad idea that the president could be re-elected i don't know what to say man about politics it's complicated I think um, the only way that it would be good is that um, everybody is satisfied. Everybody, yeah. everybody. I mean, the, all the people vote for that. But that's my my opinion. I think. Good evening. That I I don't I don't Hello, see it. Good like, evening. I don't see it like a big deal because. It's like in the USA, uh, the president it could go uh, for a second term relation, but 
uh, always, let's say, like, that people will choose if they want the same president or not, so it's not a big deal for me. Yeah, as long as everything is legal, I think it wouldn't be a problem, but if it isn't, then it is. Yeah, if it isn't, that would be a problem because they could automatically relate by this without being a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. In that case, yeah, it would be legal. Yeah. Okay, so Mariela Blanca, welcome, uh, ladies. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel good too. Uh, excited, excited. Okay, because um, the weekend is over. I could, uh, well, I think that the majority of us maybe had an opportunity to rest a little bit or at least to do something that we enjoy, right? Uh, Apart from working, apart from working. Hmm. So we're going to start uh, by sharing a little bit. And before I forget, wait a second. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to uh, try to remember a little bit of what we were doing. I'm going to share the screen with you in a moment. And uh, in the meantime, I want to ask you about your plans for this week. Is there anything in particular that you're planning to do this week? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. What? Yes. What's the plan? Mm, I have a plan, but I'm not sure if I can to do the, the plan. If you can, do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, so it's a personal or a, or a work plan? It's a personal, but in, I, I have a little scare or miedo. I am a little afraid. I am a little afraid because I need to... I need to visit the mechanic. The what? The mechanical. Oh, the mechanic, yeah. The mechanic, yes. Mm -hmm. Because my car has a little problem. Okay, your car has a little problem. So you are afraid mm -hmm. that maybe it's a, it's a big problem. Yes. <laughs> Okay, or the little problem is expensive, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I imagine that. Okay, guys, so we're going to uh, get started. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms to share a little bit about two questions, okay, that I'm going to give you. The first one is about how your weekend was. In general, you can share some relevant things like what Fabio was sharing about the uh, visit to the doctor, right? To check his eyes. And, uh, and the second question is 
related to the topic that we're going to be discussing today. So the question is, do you consider that your job or the place where you work could be a little dangerous or risky for you or for somebody else in your company, right? So you think that there's an area in your in your in your in your workplace that can be a little bit dangerous, or there is a position in, in your job that I mean there's a job position in the place where you work that could be a little bit risky or could represent some hazards for someone. So that's what you're going to share because all of you work in different areas, right? So um, you're going to share about that with your classmates. Yanari, Roxana, Miguel, uh, Harbin, and Brenda. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening. Okay, Good evening, teacher. welcome to the Motivation Monday. We, it's the last Monday of this module, right? So that's an extra motivation. That means that you are about to finish the, the, the level two and you're moving on to the level three. So that's amazing. And it's a new week, right? Um, so you can continue planning things and doing things. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room to discuss the two questions. Question number one, a little bit about your weekend. And question number two is if you think that your job or your workplace or the, the job position of any of your colleagues could be a little bit dangerous or risky. Is there something that could be dangerous where you work? Yes, no, what? Is there a position that can be a little bit difficult, a little bit dangerous? Okay, so uh, that's the discussion that you're going to have in the breakout rooms. And I am going to create only three. Okay, three breakout rooms right now. So let me check. Ah, Juan Jose is here and Rolando. Rolando, Yanari, welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so I think it's possible to have the four breakout rooms. One, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and three. Perfect, so we're going to get started. You're going to discuss the two questions, okay? Your classmates already know about that. And you are going to have exactly four minutes. Okay, ready? Well, about if you talk about the weekend, that would be like a little bit more time. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay, ready, set, and go. Let's start speaking English. Time. Let's check. Okay, perfect. Hello, Floor. Welcome. How's it going? Uh -oh. You are out of the work. No, I'm in a, in a Burger King waiting for the traffic. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. <gasps> are we are in a breaker room? Yeah, I'm going to send it to one of them. Okay. Okay. There you go. The match we enjoy a little time with uh, my brothers and sisters and at night we dinner some uh, Jessica teacher no. what are the two questions uh -huh. <laughs> gotcha Blanca 
So the first question is about your weekend. How was your weekend? You can share a little bit about that. And the second question is if you consider that your job or your workplace or any of your ah. of your co-workers uh, job can be a little bit dangerous or risky and why okay okay and why okay Yanai has bad connection okay so you can discuss and share Juan Jose Blanca and Flor if you can turn on your camera that's better This is this is a, a the newspaper when the when this is ready, yeah. In, in, in you're, my show, case, you're showing the video before. <laughs> yeah, and the and if you put your hand into this part, you can have a really really. What what happened with uh, with sound? The light, you the light is off because they turn and in my job it's not directed but uh, as we go uh, to a lot of companies sometimes their place where that companies are are a bit dangerous so it can be risky we also have gone to some construction and that place, uh, even they have all the security, but anything can happen in a construction too. So it's not a direct, it's not directed, but uh, it can be dangerous sometimes because the place that we need to go sometimes to make the audit. So it's not really the job, but the place we sometimes go for do the job. So that is something dangerous, okay? The business that you have to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's... <laughs> okay. So, in my case, uh, my research was uh, a little tighter because uh, Saturday I need uh, usually I work to 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, yesterday, yesterday, Sunday. Uh, so I, I uh, let's say uh, electricity shock. So actually, it's only dangerous for me. Yes, I can imagine. For example, in my in my company, for example, we have a cooler department and all work in that play is doing in manual process. So they use a, a cooler machine and it's so, so dangerous because is, I don't know who say in English, but if someone look, lose the, the attention, he can lose her hand because the machine is so so dangerous. I don't know who say it's muy filoso. It's very sharp. Chart. Sharp. Sharp. Chart. Okay. It's a because machine, you say. Yes, what? it's a current machine. Yes, for example, uh, I when I was working in that department. I watched some some coworker that has an accident. And he cut her her finger. It was so dangerous. It was so amazing that because he's a big, I don't know, say herida. Wound. 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 Yeah. Sharp. Yes. And there were it's wound. Wound. Okay. Sharp. Oh, okay. Okay. Sharp. Wound. Yes. That machine does. Where do you work at? I work in a... It's for me, but yes, for my partners, I think, because they have to use machinery that it's hot or it's, it have a little knife or knife. 
and maybe the, that could be dangerous for them, but not. Because they have a accident when they they are caught the the fabric. That's dangerous. <laughs> yes, but it's we, happening. It's happening a lot. Yes. Or not that. Oh my no, god. Usually, <laughs> it's not usually, but uh, uh maybe this uh, the cases maybe once a year. Once a year. Yes. But the personal <laughs> the, the reason is that the personal don't not like the, the use the the security uh one Gloves. Oh. Uh, gloves. Gloves. Uh -huh. Gloves. Gloves. Metal. Metal gloves. Okay. That's why almost every you have you have problem at night. Yeah. Uh -huh. but yeah. It's... There was one time, you know, I was driving to San Salvador and I was going alone. It was like maybe 9 30 p.m. when I was going, and then it was some time, like maybe two seconds, in which I didn't feel that I was seeing anything on the street and I was just okay I have to do it like this because I remember that the road was like this <laughs> like <laughs> like that uh, I know was I believe scared. you I believe you uh -huh. I believe you it's it's difficult yeah, it's for, difficult yeah, it, mm -hmm. but it exits uh, uh, exciting yeah exciting and I think <laughs> it's some polarized uh -huh. uh, a new polarized Hi, teacher. <laughs> I can hear you. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just coming to my home. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I suppose that a lot of people were going to have issues with the traffic today. Yeah, it's so difficult. Yeah, traffic in Salvador is it's a headache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, so I think that almost everybody's back. Um, I'm not sure if I heard that in somebody said that the job or the workplace was dangerous because of her. I don't know if it was if I didn't hear well, but Here? Huh? Here? Yeah, I think it was a girl who said that. Oh. <laughs> she was because a of the she, she was she was a danger in that place. But I'm not sure. I probably didn't hear well. Maybe razor or scissor. <laughs> we don't know. Maybe a knife. Uh a question mark. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh I'm just kidding, okay? Now, Blanca said that some coworker had had to go through danger or a little risk because of their job. Um, no, she's not a dangerous person, I think. Blanca? <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know, you don't know. <laughs> okay, that laughter Who is say that? a little scary. Who say that? Maybe maybe it's Gustavo because he always <laughs> mess with me. <laughs> but he's not here today, so ah, okay, nobody's okay. going to mess with you. Maybe maybe Rolando, but no, Rolando don't mess with me. He doesn't. Please. Ah, okay. No, he doesn't. Okay, guys, so uh, it's good to see. I was going to see to see everybody, but I only see Fabio, Freddy, and Rolando. What about the rest? Where are my students? Okay, I know that Flora is waiting for the traffic to get a little bit more normal, let's say, uh, to, yeah, to be reduced a little bit. Uh, there we go. 
There you have Juan Jose, Brenda, Laura is just getting home. Um, I don't see Harbin, Francisco, Miguel is right there. He's back. Hi, teacher. He was on vacation. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Can you repeat me? Okay, so we're going to move on and I'm going to take the attendance quickly. Uh, that was, that's what I was checking if you were there or not, because I only see your name. Okay, now we're going to check right here. Okay, so uh, Monday the 6th. Beatriz is not here. That's strange. Mariela? I'm here. Blanca? I'm here. Brenda? I'm here. Uh, Diana is not here. Floor? I'm here. Francisco? Present the show. Freddy's? I'm here. Laura? I'm here. Jackie? I'm here. Arvin? Present teacher. Nice. Jennifer? Here. Juan Jose? I'm here. Okay, Gustavo is not here. Uh, Miguel? Teacher. Fabio? I'm here. Rolando? I'm here. Yanari? You see, she's not answering to me. Okay, Roxana? I'm afraid she lost connection. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's move on. Um, I, I think that it, you have really interesting conversations about your jobs. Uh, could you please raise your hand if you answer yes? That Okay, I'm going to ask different questions and you raise your hand if it is true for you. Raise your hand if you uh, have a dangerous job, like your job personally is, is a little dangerous or it could be dangerous sometimes. Okay, one, two. Got you, Yanari. Excellent. Okay, uh, Laura and Francisco. Okay. Raise your hand if probably the workplace or one part of your workplace could be a little dangerous. Okay, we have three people Blanca, Francisco, okay, Rolando, Harbin. Got it, Miguel. Okay, raise your hand if some of your coworkers' jobs are a little bit dangerous. Maybe not your job, but your coworkers' jobs. Some of them uh, have a difficult job or a dangerous job. Okay, one, two, Juan Jose, and Blanca, Harbin, okay. Freddy's reaction, I don't know why, why that, that happens. Uh, Rolando, oh, because you work alone, right? That's why, okay, so uh, raise your hand if on your weekend you went to eat or to visit any place. Be honest, I don't work for the Ministry of Education or for any government government uh, institution, so don't worry. Tourism. Okay. Or tourism, okay, the next one. Uh, Raise your hand if you stay home all the weekend. Oh, okay. Um, perfect. So the presentations are going to be right now, Floor. Maybe because of uh, your situation right now, you could start. Or you can choose someone to start. 
because as I said, right, we're going to start with that today. So the motivation Monday starts with the motivation that your classmates will give you with their speeches. So. Yes, teacher, I'm going to start for okay, the sign. Perfect. Yeah. Ready? Set. Give me a moment. I'm looking for the presentation. Okay, okay. What is the topic, Floor? Surprise. What? Sunshine. It's a, no sunshine no more. <laughs> it's a, a surprise. Just give it's me a, a moment. Okay, okay. So the other volunteers I have here in my notes are Blanca, eh, Beatriz, Diana, and Rolando. So Diana and Beatriz are not here. For the people that were not present on the, on Friday, one of the things that we agreed is that for today and tomorrow, you are going to have approximately two to two and a half or maximum three minutes to talk about a topic that you like, but you will do it in English. Okay, so you're going to present to your classmates, to the class, to the complete class. Give me a moment, teacher. I don't know what happened with my computer. That's frozen? Yes, give me a moment. So maybe you can present the PowerPoint as um, they did last week, I think it was Rolando, just slide by slide without projecting. Yes, because uh -huh, I think that the, the presentation is, is doesn't work it right now. Doesn't work, yeah. It happens sometimes. Francisco, you have a question? I, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got it, okay, perfect. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, we can see it now. Okay, good evening everybody. So I'm going to talk about... Just give me a moment. Okay, you can see my screen, right? Yep. Okay, yes. I'm going to tell you about a little paradise that is Croata. And why should you go to Roatan at least once in your life? Well, the, I think that the real question is why, why not? Why not you have to visit or know Roatan? Let's first talk about that it's super close to El Salvador. We have the opportunity to visit the Atlantic Ocean without having to travel a lot and spend a lot, a lot, sorry, I think. So before the pandemic, for example, there were a direct flight from San Salvador to Roatán. Now we have to make a stop, a stop over in Guatemala. And in, by plane, it takes like three hours and a half. And if you have more time or if you don't want to to pay more, for example, you can do it by land and ferry. And it takes like, like I forgot how to say, 13. <laughs> 13 and a half hours. So the island of Roatán uh, is about 40 miles and is in the coastline of Honduras. And it's the largest of the seven bay uh, island in Honduras. It's small, but it's perfectly situated in, um, in the middle of the beautiful Mesoamerican barrier reef, the second largest in the world. The first is in Australia, I think. And aside from the many white sand beaches, clear turquoise, and coral reef sandwiches, Roatan has 
hills full of a lot of vegetation, like you can see in the image. So that allows you to know many different places and do many different activities. For example, this. This is me with, with, my, with my, my brother, you can see, and with my cousin. <laughs> And um, well, I want to tell you about, in my opinion, the most, the three most beautiful places in Roatán. That is West Bay, West End, and French Key. That are very uh, super nice and gorgeous beaches in Roatán. For example, West End is the most frequenting and famous area of the entire island. You will find the most beautiful beaches, most of the service for tourists and various activities, such as water sport, uh, where to shop, bar, restaurants, and night spots. The second is West Bay. It's in the other hand. It's very close. There are the residents of the upper class of the island. The best hotels for me are there, and it's more exclusive. Exclusive and luxury place. And French Key is one of the most exclusive and, and pristine gates in Ruata. You have to pay for the entry. The entry. Thank you. Excellent. Time's up. Okay, class for floor, please. Round of applause. Yes. For now, me. everybody, Taras, okay, Taras, sorry. Okay, Taras for her, and she said that to the people that give her some reactions, she's going to give a ticket to go to Ratan. Yes, you can want, go for- A one dollar, a one, a one dollar discount, no, okay? No, you, you, you can go for, I don't know, maybe, maybe 500 dollars now so it's cheaper than than before a hundred just a ticket no with everything because we ah. have it's a commercial but we have some <laughs> <laughs> special price with that okay i got it got it <laughs> so okay, you can come to more excellent job you took your time to do it so good job excellent so who do you choose next Orlando, Blanca, or yeah, only those options. <laughs> Orlando or Blanca? Orlando. He's a volunteer. I know. He always volunteers. Yeah. Since day one, Orlando. <laughs> Your microphone is off. Okay, teacher. I'll try. Let me check. So the rest of you, remember that tomorrow is your day, right? If you want to present today, you can do it. But if not, uh, the presentation with PowerPoint is not really necessary. Uh, remember, it, I'm just telling you this for uh, information, right? And uh, uh, you can just speak right about it. And if you're going to use this, try not to be reading, right? So the information that you have there is just a little for your classmates. Uh, okay. Okay, ready? Set. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Today I will talk about uh, a puzzle game, Sudoku. I don't know if you can play, but if you can, today you will learn. Okay. Origins. In the 18th century, the famous Swiss mathematician Leonhard Euler created a probability system to represent a series of numbers without repeating. In 1984, the Japanese newspaper Monthly Nicolis published a hobby section called Suji wa Dokushi ni Kagiru. Numbers must be unique. It was Meiki Kagi, president of Nicolis, who named him. The name was shortened. To Sudoku, Su number, Doku single. It became known internationally in 2005 when several newspapers began to publish it as a hobby. How to play? Rules and terminology. Sudoku is a usually present as a nine per nine table, nine per nine table. 
made up to made up of three per three sub tables. This part, color regions, regions, also color regions, also color boxes or blocks. Okay. Some cells already contains numbers. No, as given numbers or sometimes clues. The goal is to fill in the empty cells with a number in each, so that each column, row, and regions contain the number one through nine, only once. Furthermore, each number in the solution appears only once in each of the three directions. Hence, the number must be alone. That's the box, the name of the game. The strategies to solve this puzzle can be true of as the combination of two processes. Tracking and marking. What is tracking? Tracking by tracing across nine locators, yeah, anywhere on the grid, the player can remove all the empty cells in the center three for three. This is an example how to, to trace him. Yeah. Uh, in the center three for three, that cannot contain a nine. Yeah. This leaves only one possible cell marker string. You can see these cells is the possibility that you can write nine. In the other cells, it's not possible. Market. Tracing comes to a half, a half when new numbers cannot be discovered. At this point, you need to focus on some logical analysis. Most fine and helpful to guide this analysis by marking candidate number in the empty cells. There are two popular notations, subscript and dots. In subscript notation, candidate numbers um, are writing uh, small in cells like this. In the second notation is a dot pattern with a point in the upper left corner representing a one like this and a point in the lower right corner representing a nine like this. If you follow this rule and method, you are ready to play Sudoku. Thanks. And that's it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Sudoku. That was that was very, very clear. Okay, so now you, you can play Thank Sudoku. You. Thank you. Okay, reactions, a round of applauses for Rolando. And the last volunteer for today, because uh, apparently I was reading the messages, Diana has some, uh, electricity issues and um, some of your other classmates too. Like, I think Mariela was having some problems. Francisco is back. And I think Roxana also lost connection. So the weather is against us today. Anyway, Blanca. Uh, teacher, I have a presentation too, but just wake me a little. Okay. So just wait for me. I'm, we're going to be, wait for Blanca. And in the meantime, I'm going to share the screen, right? So that we can uh, have an idea about what we're doing. So we already had the weekend talk uh, about last class. Okay. Um, just a couple of things that we were discussing. Uh -oh. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back just to show you. Okay, the vocabulary, remember, we practice risk, hazard, exposure, safety measures, irreversible damage, and precautionary. So that was a little bit difficult because you had to match them, right? Um, with the definition, right? The meaning. Uh, we discuss about the conversations, right? The lift of hazards. So there are two managers talking about that. They were talking about the roles they had and um, the different aspects to consider when you're trying to give a price to a product. Okay, the most important ones like uh, the market demand and also the markup that you have for getting some earnings or some profits. 
And uh, that's a little bit of what we started last week. Now, a safety measure manual conversation. So we're going to be discussing about the risk and hazards on the business operation, okay? We're going to study a little bit about the passive voice and the person perfect. That is a really interesting topic. And at the end of the presentation, uh, you are going to take a couple of quizzes to check how much you understood, okay, about the, the topic. And um, Blanca, let me know when you're ready. I want to try if I can share the screen. Okay, try now. Okay, just wait for me. I don't know why I can't, but I hope. Maybe if you send it by uh, through the WhatsApp group, I could open it or somebody else could open it. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm going to share. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, because I'm I'm on the phone. So yeah, it's maybe more that's, complicated. that's the reason, but I'm going to share right now. Okay, just. Check. Just wait because if I have to say first. <laughs> I'm on the car because it's raining a lot and I don't have earphones. So I have to <laughs> be in a place with- No noise. With, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, with me. No, no. Because it's raining too, too, too hard. Just wait, please. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, classmates. But you're going to love that, okay? I promise. If you love BTS. <laughs> it's not about BTS, but it's kind. Kind of. Okay. Yeah. I share the the, the file. Uh-huh. Okay. Wait. But it's chart. It's loading, chart. right? So we haven't received it. Okay. It's so loading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's loading. And okay. well, finished. yeah, I think it's ready now. South Korea. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let I'm me... going to talk about South Korea. Okay, wait a second. Got it. Got it now. Okay. South Korea. Oh, it's a PDF. Okay. Yeah. Let me share the screen and here you go. Your three minutes start. Okay. Now. Okay, I'm going to talk about South Korea. South the history, culture, economy, and all you have to know about, well, not all, but it's a love you have to know about South Korea. Next. Okay. South okay, I'm going to talk about history. Did you know that Korea used to be named as Joseon? If you don't know, well, I'm going to tell you that uh, Joseon was the name of Korea about 500 years because that was the name of a, a, a dynasty that uh, it was a kingdom in, in Korea, mm. but the name before that, it, it was Gorion, Gorion. If you heard uh, Gorion, it's like Korea, right? And the international people doesn't hear the, the name Gorion. So 
they named the, the international people named Korea to South Korea. Well, to Korea in general. Why are two Koreas? Do you know that it's South Korea and North Korea, right? Yeah. Well, North, uh, North uh, yeah. It's because Korea, uh, it's been, it, it was, I don't know how to say, uh, submit, submitted or something like that uh, because, oh, for Japan, they made Korea a, a colony. I think that it's the, the right uh, word. Mm -hmm. They they colony Korea and they have to push over all the Koreans person. The women betrayed like uh, I don't know uh, it was a company company girls uh, they they abuse her. That was Japan. Japan abused of women's women's uh, kids children's well children and every every person because they want to be a they want to push over korea and and make them like japanese okay they they want the culture they want to refund the culture of japan in korea so that when became the word of the, the second word that the United States uh, have to save or something like that to Korea, but the North Korea doesn't like the the relationship with United States. So they uh, make a force with China. So China and North Korea, we could tell that they are friends and United States and, and South Korea are friends too, <laughs> or something like that. Okay. Uh, the culture of Korea is about the Confucianists. Uh, they respect a lot the, the old people. They have the respect of the ancestors. ancestors. Um, and they have rituals for them so it's a lot of commitment with the with the old people they respect that uh, the age about the the koreans they even count the the months that you are in the in your month in the in the pregnancies the time in the pregnancies is count for the age so if you are 30 years old in Korea, you are 31 years old because they count the month of the pregnancy. Okay, the traditional music, it, they have a lot of culture about that. They use uh, a lot of instrumental uh, that it's made about wind. Uh, Blanca? I don't know how to say. Because of time, time. I, will, I will have to ask you to mention just one type of music that is popular, then one type of food, that, like the most famous. Okay. At least one. The, okay. Uh, well, you can pass that. And I'm going to tell you about the food. They love the spicy food and the fried chicken. They love the fried chicken. Next. Okay. I, I'm going to run. Okay. I'm going to run. They love the sports. Uh, they have uh, three medals of gold in the archery. Mm -hmm. And I, they are very disciplined. Okay, next. <laughs> they have to, to make a military service that is obligatory for the men. Uh, only uh, of the 30 years old men. Uh, the economy, if you know these brands, you use a lot of brands of, of Korea because they all are of Korea and they are, it helps a lot with the economy of the country. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. 
And the, the last one, the K-pop is it's to it's to help a lot the the economy of the country mm -hmm. because they become international, so they help to the economy of the country. Okay, see you, lady. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Okay, reactions for Blanca, please. Excellent, a round of applause for her. And we continue with the next part. Okay, so uh, congratulations and thank you to the three who were able to present today, the three students. Um, so you see, that's the reason why it's important that you uh, anticipate, right? What's going to happen. So unfortunately, Beatriz and uh, Diana didn't join us because of the of the internet and the electricity. So it wasn't possible for them. And uh, practice, okay, practice your presentation to check how much time you're going to spend, right, speaking. So that you can share everything that you think is the most important about your topic. Now, let's go on. I'm going to share the screen one more time. So here we go. All right, so something that we're going to be dealing with um, today, it's with per work or group work, okay, for the activities that we have. The first one is the one that I told you that you could anticipate and try to do at home is the brainstorming examples of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. For example, a office hazards, electricity and fire hazards, hazards and risk is the one in the middle, right? Uh, hazardous substances and slips, trips and falls risks. So which examples could you mention for these categories? Uh, for example, electricity and fire, what comes to your mind? Burn, what? It could be burn hand. Okay, getting burned? Yes, uh, for sure. What could cause this kind of, um, of hazard? Uh, your microphone is off, uh, Rolando. Um, this in electricity and fire hazard it could be uh, uh, company to this this distribute electricity. Dis distribute. <laughs> uh -huh, distribute electricity. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another one that can be a reason also uh, it's the shortcuts that we have. Uh, for example, when you plug the computers, uh, so there can be overloaded right with uh, with things connected to it. So that can be another reason why you get this kind of hazard. I feel like a like a lightning or a thun. Yeah, lightning is going to hit me soon. But okay, let's continue. Just in case that happens, I'm going to become Thor. So I'll get superpowers or the flash. I don't know. Um, if not, it was nice meeting you guys. Maybe you they will get a teacher for the next the last two classes. And um, let's go on. So, <laughs> because of uh, slips, trips, and fall risks, uh, what place comes to your mind uh, where you can have this kind of uh, hazard? In a uh, ladder or a staircase? Staircase or ladders, uh huh, correct. In bathrooms. Bathrooms, yes, you could sleep. That's in, right. In, in cafeterias, too. Okay. Um, if we're talking, about, if you, you were talking about electricians, right? They have to be 
I mean, exposed to this kind of uh, hazards. They can fall, they can uh, get electrocuted, right? So, yeah, definitely. Uh, hazardous substances. Uh, for example, well, in my case, when when manipulate uh, the the chemical the substance to clean the water, yeah, these are some substance are acid. Yeah, uh, if you don't have the cloths in your hand, you can hard hazard your hand. That's correct. Yeah, imagine yeah. the the people who work in the in cleaning, for example. They have to work with bleach and a lot of other chemical stuff, uh, so that can be dangerous. Um, in a in a company to make a uh, pints, it could be correct. Yes. So uh, any kind of factory can have this kind of uh, substances, right? Maybe it's not that it's something chemical, but it can be really hot. For example, so they have like, uh, like, uh, like what? Like where I work at, I work, work? work. Yeah, I work with Clorox, and mm -hmm. that's that's like a hazardous substance since that it's bad for your lungs. Mm -hmm. So I have a special mask. If you don't put it right, I could get intoxicated or maybe die. Yeah. And if the Clorox falls on my skin, it burns me. Correct. People who work in the health. Uh, area as well they are exposed to these kind of hazardous uh, substances right now that we are dealing with the uh, with the with this COVID uh, uh, you know that it's hard to be dealing with people who are con I mean uh, that can be contagious right or people who have the virus and the nurses all the, the people that are dealing with this they have to be exposed to these kind of hazards Office hazards, there are not so many. There are not so many. However, if in your in the office where you work, you work with some machinery, that could become a little bit dangerous. Like uh, Harbing, I think, was mentioning about cutting papers. I'm not sure about that, but there's like a like a big machine where you cut papers. So that can be dangerous if you are not really careful. And yeah, just that. Okay, we're going to move on. And for discussion, we have the following questions. Uh, Jennifer, can you please read the question number one? Question number two, um, we're going to listen to Miguel. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Correct, thank you, Miguel, number two. And question number three, uh, we're going to listen to Mariela. Okay, uh, question mm. number two. Well. Okay, number two. Me. Well, uh, oh, no. Miguel. Okay. Miguel, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, what is the new safety measure about? Uh, the question number two is, uh, would, would a safety program okay, prevent- Okay, okay, excuse me. Uh, would a safety program prevent accidents? Okay, and the last question, Mariela. Okay, what type of rule do you think a safety plan has? Correct. Okay, so now uh, I am going to ask two volunteers. In this case, I will choose Harbin and Laura. Can you use your microphones, guys? Laura and Harbin? Yes, teacher, but I can hear you so good because it's raining here, but oh, I, have to, okay. I have to read the conversation? Yeah, you are going to uh, listen and repeat, okay? Okay. Gee, have my safety goggles been stolen? Uh, Gee, Harbin? have my safety... Do you have my safety Google pieces stolen? I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere. 
Okay, thank you. Um, Laura? Can you hear me? I think Laura's microphone doesn't work. So let's go on with Jackie. My my microphone doesn't doesn't work well. Okay, got it. Can your, you hear me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Your goggles have been taken away. Your goggles have been taken away. Your goggles have been have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. There are new safety measures in the plant. Right. Okay. Harvin, you got to be kidding. So got to be kidding. What are those measures about? What are those measures about? About. Okay, we continue with uh, Laura or Jackie or both. You are required to wear ear protection. You are required to wear ear protection. Where? Wear ear protection. Wear ear protection. Gloves. Gloves. Reflective vest. Reflective vest. Protection belt. Protection belt. Helmet. 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 Jacket. Jacket. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Earplugs. Earplugs. Store tools. Store tools. Improper location. Improper location. Excellent. Harbin. So my goals and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. So my goods and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Have been taken away? Intonation, right? That's the question. Okay. Have been taken away? Correct. And Laura? Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit. Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Scattered tools outside the tool room. Excellent. So right now, thank you uh, to the two volunteers. Now, in this case, what you're going to do is to do the two activities together in the breakout rooms. First, you're going to answer the question, discuss the question with your partner, and then you are going to practice the conversation playing the two roles as Joel and as Diego, okay? So um, this is all about talking about providing safety measures to control risk at a production plant. So the breaker rooms are going to be in purse. Let me check, 15, okay, so I'm going to create seven. Okay, Freddie's, you're going to be with uh, Jennifer, Miguel, and Rolando, Mariela, Juan Jose. I think Floor is not able to speak right now. So, uh, Fabio, I'm going to move you to their breakout room number four to practice with Jackie, uh, Blanca, Yanari, Diego, and Brenda, Harbin, and Laura. Wow, what a coincidence. You're going to practice the conversation together. Okay, so um, answer the questions in exercise number one first, and then you go to the conversation number two. So for this activity, you're going to have five minutes so you can discuss and practice. Uh, before I send you to the breakout rooms, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Is there any word or expression that you would like to, to ask about or you would like me to repeat? Orlando, questions? Mariela, Blanca, Brenda, Diego, Floor, no, Freddy, Jackie, Harbin. Juan I don't have questions. Mm. Fabio, now I don't know. have questions. Okay, you don't have questions now. But later, maybe. Yeah, later, maybe, yes. Okay, so 
I'm just going to pronounce some words that you, maybe you will have issues or you won't remember so much how to pronounce. The first one is safety. Uh, the expression is G, right? G, uh, like, um, that's, let's say, a simple expression that we, that we use uh, when you're like surprised maybe. And then uh, safety, goggles, goggles. It's not Google, okay, goggles. Um, stolen, stolen, right, stolen. Then uh, we have, wait a second. Okay, stolen, goggles, uh, measures. This word is a little complicated. Measures. Uh, You've got to be kidding or you got to be kidding. That's the way that people in the USA speak, right? You got to be kidding. You you got to be kidding uh, or you must be joking, right? There's estar bromeando. Uh, required with the D at the end, required to wear. It's no wear, is wear. Uh, protection, gloves, reflective, vest. Reflective vest. What is a reflective vest? Any ideas? No translations. Reflective vest. It's a like identified when yep. you it's a it's like identified you use uh, clothes, for example. It's a piece in, of clothing, yes. <laughs> And what is particular about that piece of clothing? Because vest is chaleco, right? You know that. Um, but it's, reflective, it's like a it's mirror. Uh, reflective, it's like a, 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 a that reflect reflecting the light. Ah, okay. So it has some some uh, strips, right, of uh, plastic, some band, something like that. Some band. Uh -huh. And they reflect the light. That's correct. Right. Like more, for example, some people who ride motorcycles, they wear them, right? Especially at night. Okay, excellent. Uh, helmet with the sound of the J at the beginning, right? Helmet. Rubber is not rubber or river is rubber. Uh, blocks, no plugs. And uh, proper, the stress is at the beginning, right? It's proper, not proper. So proper, uh, that's it, okay? Designed, it's not designed, it's designed with the D at the end. Prohibit, okay, prohibit. So the stress is in the middle, prohibit. And the last one is scattered. Scattered with the D at the end, scattered is when everything is disorganized, right? In different places, it's not in one specific place, scattered. Okay, so that's what you're going to do right now. Remember about the intonation, right? What are those measures about? So intonation as a question, right? G, that's an expression. And that's it. Rolando, you have a question? No, 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 no. No, perfect. So we're ready to go. Three, two, one. See you later, alligators. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, but I I have a connect bad connection because it's oh. raining too hard. Here is raining now. To it, even uh, when it starts raining, we hear some uh, granizo. Ah, really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness! How do you say granizo? Uh, I'm trying to investigate <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. 
I'll be a back. A good flesh monkey. Yes. What do you think? I need something to <laughs> Hail. Yes. That's right. Hail. Hail. It was... Hello. Hi, Claude. Okay. Hello. Let's... Oh, man. Another face. <laughs> Another funny face. Well, no. I going no. to finish that that kind of screenshot. I don't know because I I try to to took that picture when you're when you are in the right way, but my phone it's too slowly Slow. to take it to take it. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Let's blame it on the phone. Yeah. Uh, Floor, are you there? Yeah. I think she's she's uh, still on the way home, so we can practice quickly. Okay. okay. Gee, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are there are new safety measures in the plant. You got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vests, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools, and proper in, in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. You told the, the difficult words. <laughs> yeah, now it's your turn. Okay, okay. Ready, set, go. Gee, have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. Okay, give me a second. I think Janari has some issues. Mm, I'm going to take her here to see if she can speak. Um, you've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear, to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, boots rubber ear plugs. Start tools in proper location. Okay. Um, rubber, rubber, rubber boots. Rubber boots. Okay. So rubber. my 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 goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit. That's that work. Scattered. That work. Scattered, yeah. Scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay, ah. that's right. Scattered. So, uh, yeah, scattered. And uh, scattered. are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work, in your opinion? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's not dangerous, but... It could be danger if the people don't follow the instructions because they have to, they have, I don't know how to, to name that because they have a group of people that prevent the risk. So they give them a lot of instructions to have to protect them. Because, well, I, I'm working on a factory. Well, I don't know if I can tell that it's a factory. Uh, but they made closed. Ah. Closed. Closed. <laughs> so uh, they use my... Oh, it's ma a manufacturing plant. Machinery. Yeah, it's a manufacturing plant. So... Uh, they use a lot of, of machines and they have to manipulate. So they have a lot of instructions to what they don't have to do. 
Okay. They have to use uh, ear protects. Uh, ear, I, I think that the name is earplugs. Earplugs, ear yeah. Earplugs, yeah. Uh, they have to use gloves when they touch uh, a hot super. Surface. How we can I superficies? Hot, surface. Hot surface. 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 Okay. Hot surface. Yeah. They have to use gloves. Um. Well, they have a lot of instructions to follow. Okay. And it could be dangerous, but only if the people don't follow that that instructions. Okay. So, but accidents always happen, right? That's yeah. Even if you are careful, uh, would I say to program prevent accidents? Yeah, it could be, but like you say, uh, accidents always going to happen. So, the right way to prevent it, it well, it's follow follow all the procedures. Mm -hmm. to the rules yeah yeah the rules so what type the... of rules do you think a safety plan has a type of rules uh-huh mm, well <laughs> it in my work uh -huh. what my... rules do you have um don't touch the the surface without protection um uh, ha they have to use mask uh, for the dust mm -hmm. and for the for the hat too because when they use the the how can i say plancha iron iron yeah when they use the iron for for the sublimacy or something like that Processing procedure, uh, they uh, they have a lot of vapor. Vapor. Yeah, vapor. So they have to use mask for that because it could or be steam. dangerous in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. What kind of um? Yeah, it could be vapor or gas or steam. It, it's only uh, it's a vapor mm, it's a normal vapor but when you exhale all the time that it could be dangerous for your lungs mm, okay got yeah it. okay yeah. excellent thank you for sharing <laughs> okay nice working with you blanca okay i i thought that that you were in the picture but but you're not <laughs> that I was what? And that you are uh, the person that it's in the picture, but but you're not. <laughs> I'm not because, a person in the picture. Yeah, the the picture that it's frozen. <laughs> oh, I'm Emilio, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. See you in the main room. Okay, be like Fabio, drink water. Don't forget about that. Okay, water before coffee or soda, right? That's a good idea, I'm gonna go drink water right now. <laughs> yeah. I usually have a cup of, or a glass of uh, water, a bottle of water, not today, but I have my tea, so. It has, and I was a tea with milk, but milk has this liquid, so it counts. Okay, so we're going to move on. And did you finish uh, asking the question, asking the questions and practicing the conversation? Yes or no? Everybody, yes? You see, when you have your camera, I can see that you are like, yes. Yes, 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 oh, yes. No, okay. Yes. Perfect. Now I'm going to take the attendance to check who's still here and who's not. Uh, let me check. 
here it is. Okay, Beatriz is, was not able because she didn't have internet, I mean, electricity. Uh, Mariela? I'm here. Blanca? Blanca Brenda? I'm here, sorry, I can put the, the microphone on. Don't worry, Brenda? Brendiana. <laughs> Brendiana, okay. Uh, Diego? Present. Uh, Floor, Francisco? I'm here, teacher. Nice. Francisco? We lost Francisco. Freddy's? I'm here, I'm back. Okay, Laura? I'm here. Jackie Harvin? I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Juan Jose and Jennifer? Here, teacher. Thank you. Next one, Miguel? I'm here. Fabio and Rolando? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Hello, 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 and oh, Janari. Yeah. I'm here, you say? Okay, let's go on. Now, um, so as you could see, the conversation was really interesting because it it's about reality, right? A lot of people have uh, risks in the places where they work, especially if it is a factory, right, or a construction place. Uh, that's another, another job that we didn't mention, right, construction. Uh, so people who work building houses, they have a really dangerous job. Um, so, or people who are uh, working on the streets, right? That's another one. Now, what items is Joel looking for? Joel. Do you remember? Safety, safety. Googles. Google. Googles. But Google is the place I use to investigate information, to look for the <laughs> answers. Google. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Goggles. Goggles, because Goggles. Only, only one, one O. Uh -huh. When okay. you have the double O, you usually pronounce it like boo, like book or uh, Google, the example that we have, right? Or hood or hook or took or cook or food, but in some cases you don't pronounce it like ooh, like for example, when you say door or you say blood, right? So there are some exceptions, but normally you pronounce it as ooh when it's double. Now let's continue. What is the new safety major about? I'm going to ask Brenda. <clears throat> The microphone is off. I cannot hear you. Okay, it's about that you have to wear ear protection gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber belts, ear plugs, sword tools in proper location. Okay. Is it? Yes, that's the measure about. Thank you. Fabio. In your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plan? Fabio? Uh, because uh, it can be missing. Someone can even stole them. Stole okay, them. first of all, because they can get lost or somebody could steal them. Okay. That's right. Another reason? Um, uh, to prevent uh, accidents. To prevent accidents. Okay. Somebody might trip. That's a word. Okay. Here, if you pay attention in the, here in this part, we have vocabulary. Slip. When you slip, it's when you, uh, when there is water or something liquid or slippery on the floor. So you slip and you fall back right trip 
is when, uh, let's say there is something like a box or like a, like a tool that can be big and you don't see it when you're walking. So you hit it and you trip, okay? You almost fall or you or kind of, and then- uh, Like tropezar, teacher. Yeah, trip. Tropezar, that's correct. And then fall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> fall is usually from a high place, right? Maybe from a chair, from a from a ladder, from a staircase. Uh, falling in love? No, that's well, that can be risky. Okay, but it's not the yeah, context. It's not too context. risky. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to stay away from that. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, let's see. It's the most dangerous fall. Fire topic. Okay, I think that we're going to discuss that in the Talking Tuesday, maybe. Okay. Next so, Monday. <laughs> next month. <laughs> nah. Okay, so in the conversation, um, we saw some specific statements, right, related to accidents and uh, procedures but these words that were in bold in negrita right they have they are focused on a specific topic in grammar that is called the passive voice and so that's a literal translation right boss passiva uh, is used when the emphasis of the sentence is on is on what Harbin Juan Jose? Um, excuse me, the, in which sentences? The... Okay, the passive voice is used when the emphasis of the sentence is on the? On the action. On the action. On and the not action. On this, and okay. not on the subject. Correct. So that is the key, okay, to identify or to understand the passive voice. The emphasis of the sentence is on the action, not on the subject. So, for example, if I say, um, mm, I teach the class. What is the emphasis of that sentence? If I say, I teach a class. Teach. It's on the action. I. It's on the class. It's on me. It's on you. It's on me, right? First of all, because I put the emphasis there. I teach the class. So um, I teach the class. I put, I pay the, I mean, I, I emphasize the, the verb, right? I teach the class. That would be the emphasis on the complement. Now, but let's focus, right? So I teach the class. I teach the class. The focus is on the subject. Who? Who teaches the class? Ah, oh, Freddie. Now, if I don't want to pay attention to who is teaching and I just want to focus on the class, I am going to change the, the order of the words and I'm going to change the, the, the structure of the verbs. So I teach a class. Good. It's active voice. I teach a class. Uh, my brother works every day. My sister cleans the, the bedroom. Examples. Okay. Example because she doesn't. Um, so in those examples, I focus on the person that is doing something or the person who did something or who does something. But when we use the passive voice, the emphasis changes and the order of the words and the structure of the verbs change. For example, uh, for the class, I teach a class, I will say, the class is taught. The class is taught. 
from Monday through Friday. I don't care who teaches, but the class is taught from Monday through Friday. Okay. Another example that I that I usually use when I am talking about the passive voice. Okay. So um, I say I painted my house last year. I painted my house last year. I focus on me. But if I just want to tell, if you want to know about the house and when the house got painted, I am going to say, my house was painted last year. My house was painted last year. So I focus only on the house and the action that was painted, okay? So if you pay attention here, there are two things. One is that we focus on the, on the, on what happened, right? The house was painted. And second is that we are using a different structure for the verbs. So if I say, I paint the house, I painted the house, is a normal verb in the past. But if I say the house was painted, I am using first the auxiliary verb be, okay? So it can be in the present or the past. It can be a, is, are, was, or were. If it is a simple form, if it is the perfect form, we use been, been, okay? Plus the verb in the past participle, in the third form of the verb. My example number one, okay? When we are talking about the, um, the passive voice. Question, who discovered America? Supposedly, according to the books, who discovered America? Christopher? Cristobal Colón in Spanish. In Spanish, Cristobal Colón, okay? In English, it's Christopher Columbus. So, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Supposedly. Now, I don't care who discovered America. I want to know what was discovered. So you say America. What is the was correct? Discover? Was, was discovered by, by Christopher Columbus. Columbus. Okay, so in this case, it is relevant to mention by and the agent who did the action. It is relevant because it's a historical fact. Now, uh, yesterday, okay, there was a soccer game, a soccer match uh, between El Salvador and Honduras. So how can you say Honduras, El Salvador y Honduras jugaron el partido? How do you say that? Teacher, can you please repeat? I can't hear. El Salvador y Honduras jugaron el partido. El Salvador and Honduras played the match. Play the match. Okay. Now, I want to focus on the match. I want to use a passive voice. So I'm going to say, okay. el partido fue jugado por El Salvador y Honduras. The match have been played by El Salvador. Simple pass. And Honduras. Was, was played. Was played. Okay. Was played by El Salvador and Honduras. Okay. Correct. Uh, now we're going to move on to the examples. Number one, uh, Rolando. 1A, Rolando. 1B, Freddy's. 1A, your goggles have been taken away in contrast to? Freddy's? They have been taking your goggles away. They have taken. They have taken, okay, your goggles away. away. Okay, so which one goggles. is passive? Which one is passive, 1A or 1B?
1B. 1B is passive. Are Can you I... sure? This can be tricky, but it's, it's an important topic. So we need to understand this really well. Okay, so to create the passive voice, we need two things. We need to focus on the action and we need to use the auxiliary verb be plus the verb in the passive, in the past participle form. So if you see example B, one B, they have taken your goggles away. We don't have the verb be here. And we say they, talking about the people. So who is doing the action? So this is active, it's not passive. So for the active, we are going to use the green color, okay? Active, active. So this is active because someone is doing an action. When we use a passive, okay, we're going to use the, co the color, what color? Let's say yellow. Okay, so your goals have been taken away. So this is a passive voice. Why? Because first of all, the, the, the object or what we're talking about is at the beginning and we have the auxiliary verb B plus the past participle. In this case, as we are talking about the present perfect, we need to use the auxiliary have because it's the present perfect. Now, if I want to say, if I want to say, for example, uh, uh, I, I took uh, my mother's food. I ate my mother's food. Let's say I ate my mother's food. Is that active or passive? I ate my mother's food. Is it active? active? Active. I ate my mother's food. That's it. Now, how can I say uh, la comida fue comida in English? La comida de mi mamá. My mom's food was eating. Was eaten. Has been eaten. Was eaten. Okay, because I use simple past. So was eaten. Okay, was eaten. Now, for the passive voice statements, okay, uh, the explanation here is the person who took away the goals is not important. In one A, the fact that they were taken away is instead emphasized. Now let's go to the passive voice statements. That is the structure, object, what we're talking about, right? The object plus have or has been plus the verb in the past participle form. So here we focus only on the present perfect, okay? Present perfect. Okay, 2A, uh, Flor, are you able to speak? Yes, I can read. Okay, 2A, please. And 2B is going to be for... Yanari or or Laura, okay? Go okay. ahead. Have, have my safety Google been stolen? Okay. In contrast to Laura or Yanari to be or not to be? That's the question. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Okay. In contrast to, have they stolen my safety goggles? Goggles? Goggles. Okay. So this question focuses on the safety goggles, not in the person who stole them, right? So um, for the passive voice questions, 
we use have or has, that is the auxiliary for the present perfect, plus the object, what we're talking about, uh, or who we're talking about. In this case, that was affected by something. Um, but usually we talk about something, not someone. Plus being, plus the verb in the past participle form. I'm going to say the example in Spanish. You are my translators today. So uh, you tell me how to do it, right? Okay. Um, ¿Cuándo fue enviado el reporte? When was the report sent? When, when was the report sent? The report sent. Simple past. When was the report sent? Cuando fue enviado? Cuando se envió el reporte? Good. Uh, now, how can you ask the question in the person perfect? The question is, ¿Quién ha terminado con las asignaciones? ¿Quién ha terminado con las asignaciones? O las tareas. How can you ask that in English? ¿Quién ha terminado? Who has been finished? Who has finished the homework? Who has finished the homework? Who has finished the homework? Okay. Now, uh, one more question. Okay. ¿Quién ha participado de todas las reuniones? Who has participated in all the meetings? Okay, or who has been a participant? O quién ha sido un participante, right? Who has been a participant of all the meetings? Okay, so that's just to have an idea, okay? Just to have an idea. The last question, okay, the last question I'm going to ask it in, in English and you are going to translate it to Spanish, okay, just to switch your brain a little bit. Now, um, has the, have the sales been increased this month? Have the sales been increased this month? ¿Han incrementado las ventas este mes? ¿Han incrementado las ventas este mes? Yes. ¿They have? No, they haven't. That's correct. Okay, so have the sales been increased this month? Okay, ¿se han incrementado las ventas? Okay, o han sido incrementadas las ventas. So that is the way that we use it. Now, one thing is when we talk about the theory and the explanation. Another thing is when we use it and we practice. So for that reason, we are going to complete this exercise together. Okay, I will help you do the number one. The words that you're going to use here for the indication, well, yeah, the verbs, you're going to complete the, follow, the following sentences and questions in the passive voice. Choose the appropriate verbs and then you are going to compare your answer with a partner, okay? So number one, I do it. Number two, we do it. Number three, you are going to be in the breakout rooms to try to complete the exercise. Okay, number one, three new safety measures. Okay, we have the verb issue, innovate, make, train, create, and give. Three new safety measures have been, have been created. Okay, three new safety measures have been created. So we're using the present perfect, right? In the passive voice. Number two, your turn. We, new earplugs. Innovated. 
The correct verb, I'm going to help you with the verb, is give. give. So, we, we are... I'm going to write my example so you can think about yours. Given you. Peter, the auxiliar have is in present. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the second maybe is we have given. And the verb be? We have been given. <laughs> we have been given new earplugs. Okay, se nos han entregado nuevos eh, tapones para los oídos. Okay, so we have but been given. Se the, nos the, ha auxiliar, dado. Okay. the auxiliar have is always in present. Have or have. Yeah, because it's the present perfect in the passive voice. Uh huh. Correct. And then the the bird. To be is it's like being. Being, uh -huh, because that is the past participle form of the verb be. Uh -huh. And then we use an, then, the verb in the uh -huh. third form, uh -huh, in the past participle okay. form. Okay, uh -huh. number three, four, five, and six, you are going to try to complete them in small groups. Okay, you're going to be in groups of three, so please take a screenshot of the whole exercise. You will have just four minutes maximum to get the answers in your groups okay your teams so i am going i'm going to create the four the four teams for sunshine no I'm just kidding not today not today okay we are done with the with the teamwork uh for the four companies that you created so i am going to send you to the breakout rooms now one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Okay. So there will be one, well, one group with two groups with four members. That's all right. It's not an issue. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, and go. Four minutes begin now. Jackie, do you get the invitation? Yes. You can share the screen or or oh. may I have to share? If you want, you share because I have a messy thing here. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> I paint some things. Sorry, teacher, if you, if you're going to show. <laughs> I will have another funny face. Okay, I know. Okay. Brand, the, the famous <laughs> uh, screen. <laughs> Okay. Eh, not so strange <laughs> compared to the previous ones. But, okay. but the, it's still, it's still, still not know. right. Yeah, still yeah. not the normal me. Okay, I know. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The new say for the three one, right? Yeah. If you are nice, they have been innovated. Yes. For the four, one. May, May, May. 
or creative? Uh, I don't know. Creative is the first one. Okay, I think that it's made. Made. I think. For the yeah. the boots. boots. Number four. Yes. The new steel. So, the, the new steel toe boots. Have has been, or have. And have. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Pro say that they have been innovated. They yes. have been innovated. Innovated. Okay. The new steel to tall or two. Both. Two. 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 It's correct. Two. 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 Still two. 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 T O A T O E is toe. Toe. Okay. Two. The new steel toe boots. Those Has are been... the bottom the cool. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have have been make May. make mm -hmm. of yes. Maker or make? Made. 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 Of with B as Daniel. Oh, you need letter. The past four issue is. No. This issue. It is a re regular issue. bird. Regular. Regular. Regular, yeah. Regular. Ish, Regular. Uh huh. Issue. Only add the D. Uh huh. Correct. Okay. Issue. We have be, we been issued the new helmets. Issue. Issue. Get okay, given. Issue. Yeah, I think this one is <laughs> issue. The new helmet. Issue, issue, issue. Let's see a thing. You're done? I think so. Okay, I think the time is up, so I'm going to call everybody back. Six, two, six, seven, we got four. All right. I'm going to see you. Okay, let's go. Team number one. That was, uh, give me a second, give me a second. Team one, team one. Uh, Freddy's, Jackie, and Fabio, what do you have for number three? For number three, we have uh, the new safety goggles are nice. They have been innovated. Okay, the new safety goals are nice. They have been innovated. Okay, we're going to continue with number four. Team number two, Harvin, Jennifer, Laura, and Miguel. Can you steal? Steel toe boots. Uh -huh. New the boots have cool. been made of genuine leather. Have been made of genuine leather. Okay, got it. And number five is team number three. Blanca, Brenda, and Diego. Have the new safety officer been trained? Have. Has, sorry, has, has the new safety officer been trained? Ah, okay. Mm. We're about to, we're about to. Has the new safety officer been trained? Train. Train. And number six, 
Rolando, Flor, Mariela, and Juan Jose. We didn't. You didn't do that one? Yes. But Can you try? Have, yes. Have. Have. Have we. We, we are uh, missing only one verb. Use. Yes. Use. 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 Have we issued? Issued. Mm, the new helmets. Okay. Have we issued the new helmets? Do you agree with all the answers or you have a different one? I have the number five different teacher. Number five. What do you have for number yes. five? Has the new safety offers been issued? Issued. Uh, yes. No, it's not a possibility. But the number no. six, yes. Number six can be different. Okay. But the, is it the verb, we but the been, verb been? Uh -huh, been? We need been. Have we been issued? Issued. Uh -huh. Have we okay. been issued? Or you can say, have we been given? So given and issue are similar ones. So you can use them interchangeably, okay? okay. So correct. Those have, are the right answers. Teacher. Hello? How is the last one? Have we been issued the new helmets? Or uh, have we the, been given the new helmets? It's correct. But uh, don't change the verb. Issue. Issue. Issued or given. You can use both. Have we been ish issued? Issued the new helmets. Uh -huh. But yeah. in past, issued. Issued, yeah, in the past participle. Correct. The so new now. Helmets. For the for, for tomorrow, okay, for tomorrow, I need you to practice. So I am going to send you two links to the WhatsApp group, right? With mini with some quizzes, okay, <sighs> about the passive voice and the present perfect. So please complete them um, for your own practice. And uh, tomorrow, okay, and tomorrow we are going to do some things, okay. First of all. I want to remind you that we have the Talking Tuesday. That means that we are going to be doing more speaking activities. And the first activity that we're going to do is to start with the presentations of everybody, okay? One by one. Remember that no more than three minutes. I will be sorry, but I will have to stop you if you speak more than that, because tomorrow we have the majority of, the, uh, of you presenting. So it will take some time, okay? But it's something important. So um, that, the second thing is that we are going to, um, I'm going to clear all the drawings. You can take a screenshot if you want. Three, two, one. And um, as it is the day before the last class, uh, we are going to finish with the majority of the exercises from the, or, or topics from the unit number four. Remember that on Wednesday, that is the last day, we are going to spend approximately 30 minutes just completing the survey, the satisfaction survey. So for that reason, it is important that you attend the classes, right? That you participate in, uh, practice practice what we study so uh, complete the exercises on the platform uh, this is the probably the last topic the grammar topic that we're going to be discussing but on the platform you have to do the exercises so uh, catch up with the activities with the exercises and quizzes and tomorrow we're going to de deal a little bit more with that so if you yeah. have any questions about that you let me know. I know that it's difficult to start the week after the weekend and we have a long day on Monday, but uh, we're getting close. I mean, we're basically done with this. Um, well, just to make sure that everybody's here, Janari, Rolando, Fabio. Yes. Present, present teacher. Yeah. Say yes, say yes. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Juan Jose, Jennifer. I'm here. I'm here. Excellent, Harvin. I am here. Jackie. I'm here. Laura. I'm here. Paris. I'm here. Francisco. Floor. Yes, this Diego. Is. Yes. Claro que yes, okay. Yeah, okay. Brenda. I'm here, teacher. Blanca, Mariela. I'm here. Present. Present. Okay, there you go. I heard all of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is the almost before last one. I have the victim here. Let me check. That would be floor, according to my notes. Floor. We're going to have just, let me check how many minutes. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing, just five minutes. Okay, so uh, Flora, are you still there? Did she disappear? She left and she left me alone. That's so sad, but Blanca is here, so that's good. Okay. Yes, I'm here. So, guys, have a good night. Uh, I'm going to have some feedback for the last minutes with Blanca. Have everything ready for tomorrow and uh, enjoy the night. Okay, get enough rest. I know you're tired, sleepy, so you need to get recover some energy, right? Get some energy back. So, peace and love. See you tomorrow, guys. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye, you. teacher. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Welcome. I'm you have here. to give me some information <laughs> about Korea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of, if, of information. I know, and I know. I have to make the presentation 15 minutes before the class because I don't have time. You well, didn't have time. yesterday I forgot. <laughs> ah, that's why. And I was, I was sleeping. Well, not sleeping, just rest. Resting. The most of the of the day. Then I have to go. I have. Then I I went to my sister. My sister house. Uh huh. Because. My brother-in-law. Yeah, that's that is the right. Yeah, brother-in-law. Uh, yeah, my brother-in-law have to put me the battery of the car. She uh, because I have issues with the car. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, but the battery uh, can't be matched so well because. My brother-in-law have to use a special tool. Really? So I have, I have to win on to my go. sister. I have to go on my sister's house to to put me the battery in the right way. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. But now yeah. everything is okay. Yeah, everything's okay. I can go well with my car and i i don't have that 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 i ah that problem i don't have that problem yeah that concern right yeah that concern okay. yeah 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 then and... uh, in the day on the day i i don't have time because i'm driving most most of the every every day so I don't have time to time to do it. So after uh, my dinner, I just made the presentation because I want to talk about Korea. <laughs> yeah, actually, you could spend three minutes just talking about one thing, right? So it's a lot of information, as you say. See, yeah, yeah sorry, yes. Uh, Korea has a lot of information. I love of they they pass for a lot of problems. 
the well before to be the the great Korea that, that we know, and it's in in interesting. Oh my God! Interesting, yeah. I can pronounce. It. Yeah. You can pronounce it well. Interesting. Interesting. It's because, it's yeah. because you're tired, probably. Yeah, yeah. No, I I always forgot how to pronounce, but. In in some in some ways I know how to pronounce, pronounce? <laughs> but when I when I have to tell, I forgot, uh -huh. <laughs> and Got that it. became a, a problem for me. Okay, so uh, Blanca, do you have any doubts or comments? Well, Anything that I can help it, you with. Well, only. I have problems when I have to formulate the sentence. That is the only the only thing that I always fail. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that it's going to change with a little time because I sometimes I forgot how to con conjugate the verbs. Mm -hmm. Put them on the right uh, form, but I think that I I'm going to use uh, to it. I don't know if I'm right. You're going to get used to them, to that. Uh -huh. get, yeah, yeah. Get used to it. Or okay. or or I forgot that that I have to put a uh, a complement on on the sentence. Correct. Mm -hmm. that's, okay. That's Got it. The thing that it's yeah, a problem. The more the more you practice, the more you can improve. Obviously. So yeah, yeah. I, I feel that like you have gained a lot of fluency uh, during the past weeks. So that's something that is really good. Yeah, that's good for me too. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed that. Sometimes. I have noticed that. I. Oh my God, that's that's great. I think yes, <laughs> sometimes, course. sometimes I I think in English, <laughs> and I don't know why because yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Really, a lot of people have problems to do that. Yeah, the majority of people have problems to think in English. So. Yeah, well, I, well, when I'm uh, talking with my friends uh, on chat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I I think the the sentence in English, and I say, "What am I doing? <laughs> I have to write them in Spanish." <laughs> okay. But sometimes in my mind, I think, "How can I read it? Read read that sentence in English?" Uh huh. And uh, yeah, that's why I told you that that I think in in English. On uh huh. Awesome, yeah, that's something good. <laughs> uh, I think that I'm going to learn more and more. For sure, <laughs> that's for sure. I subscribe. Okay. subscribe I've been subscribed to... to the third module. Yes, of course. You don't have to stop now. Yeah, yeah. In your, in stop. your best moments. So keep yeah. going, keep walking. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Johnny Walker. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know where is that. <laughs> you don't know what that is. I know. <laughs> Gustavo was not here today, but yes, I know you miss him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so thank you for staying, Blanca. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have and good night, teacher. I don't know how to say goodbye in Korean. Annyeong. Annyeong. Okay. Annyeong. Annyeong. <laughs> bye, teacher. Bye-bye. <laughs>